Hello, welcome everybody to my channel today. Today we're going to be reviewing the third Fire Academy book from the Fire Academy in TK. And this is Christ the Healer by F.F. Bosworth. This book was first published in 1924. It's a lot older than the last two books we reviewed. And this book is by somebody who's absolutely qualified to write on the subject of healing. F.F. Bosworth is one of those early Pentecostal generals who was present at Azusa Street and who took divine healing to the world. He had a very potent healing ministry. F.F. Bosworth was a very intelligent man. A lot of the early Pentecostals, they were kind of, you know, this backwater motley crew of poorly educated people who got the spirit of God and were excited about the power of God, but they didn't have much theological training. F.F. Bosworth did not have theological training, but he was very, very bright, and he absolutely understood the scriptures. If you read Christ the Healer, it reads as though you're reading, some, reading a book by somebody who's very highly educated, even though he certainly wasn't. There's a lot of people today who will write on healing and who will talk about healing and they're just not experts about it. They may get healing and they may, you know, see some results, but their material that they publish may not be that thorough. I will say Bosworth is writing this book to us Christians who do believe in healing, but he's writing this book to those people who do not believe in healing. It is an apologetic work. The most important thing I will tell you about Christ the Healer is it proves, he goes line by line through the scripture and absolutely proves that healing is part of the atonement. He didn't take very much to convince me. He, he got me a little of the ways through, but he went so thorough. If you read this book and you do not believe that healing is part of the atonement at the end, then you are being intellectually dishonest and I just, just must not trust the scripture because he shows so thoroughly throughout the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation how Jesus is the healer yesterday, today, and forever. And that healing is not just these sporadic random miracles for evangelism, but it is the right of every Christian who has appropriated salvation. Now, there's a lot of Pentecostal people I know who they believe in healing. They believe in laying hands on the sick, but they say, eh, if they don't get healed, they just die. It's okay. Some people die sometimes. Some people get sick. Not everybody gets healed. Wrong. Yes, not everybody gets healed, but that's because of our unbelief and maybe other factors that we don't totally understand. But healing is absolutely part of the atonement. It is our right as Christians. Not everybody gets saved, do they? But we believe that God says in his word, we know he says this, that all shall come to everlasting life, or he wills that all shall come to everlasting life. Jesus wills that all be healed just as much as he wills that all will be saved. And Bosworth does an excellent job showing this through the scripture. He does a very thorough job giving an overview of divine healing, both in the atonement and in an evangelistic means. He really does a great job explaining that whole nonsense about uh, Paul and his thorn in the flesh that at that time, a lot of people thought the thorn in the flesh was a sickness. And some people may think that today. I haven't heard that many people say that, but he debunks that, that theory uh, pretty thoroughly as well. I will say that it was very, very well written. And it was, it was absolutely a very intelligent breakdown of divine healing in the scripture. And I, I very highly recommend it. I will say that it did somewhat lack a discussion on how demons and generational curses may affect healing. And I don't really hold that against Bosworth because at that time in the 1920s, there really wasn't any, any understanding of those sorts of things anyways. We know that not everybody that those old generals prayed for got healed despite their great faith and their great success. And there was probably some of those people were because they were demonized or because they had curses or other factors that weren't understood at that time. But he did understand faith. He understands the promises of God for healing. And I will say for those other factors that may hinder healing, Jesus promises freedom from curses and demons too. So that should not stand in the way of you receiving healing in Jesus name. I will say that the only weakness that I may put in here is that Bosworth talks about appropriating healing by faith, but he doesn't talk very much about the substance of faith or what exactly faith is or how to have faith. But again, these are really small drawbacks. This is a fantastic book. I give it a 9 out of 10, and I highly, highly recommend this for every Christian especially people in an evangelistic ministry, people who go and hit the streets 
pray for healing. People who are pastors, especially it says in James that we should go to the elders of the church. So those elders should be educated in divine healing. They should know how to lay hands on the sick and for them to recover. But really, I think every Christian would benefit by reading this book and having a greater understanding of healing. So I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and hearing my opinion on uh, this book today. Uh, please consider subscribing, leaving a like. If you're interested in Fire Academy, please leave a comment or send me a message on Facebook and I can put you in touch with the right people. Thank you very much for tuning in today. You have a blessed day.